This diagram shows the broad process that is taken when identifying and designating marine protected areas in the UK. Marine protected areas in the UK are based on the best available evidence and where there is scientific uncertainty, a cautionary approach is taken. Proposed marine protected areas are subject to a period of public consultation so stakeholders can contribute evidence and share views. JNCC leads on the monitoring of marine protected areas in UK offshore waters to help assess the condition of the protected features. Undertaking monitoring of our MPAs helps us understand how effective they are at protecting the habitats and species they are designed for and to make informed decisions about how best to manage them. JNCC work with a variety of partners including CFAS and Marine Scotland Science who provide us with the use of survey vessels, staff and other resources ensuring the smooth running and delivery of MPA monitoring across the UK's offshore environment. By collaborating in this way, we can pool expertise and make best use of the UK's fleet of marine research vessels and the specialist equipment required. We design our MPA monitoring to ensure that the outcomes provide robust evidence to support decision making. Different monitoring approaches are used to survey the different habitats and species present within offshore MPAs. For example, in 2017 we used underwater cameras to collect footage of deep sea sponge and coral communities from MPAs located to the north of Scotland and in the approaches to the English Channel. In 2016 we used a box corer to collect samples of animals living within the sands and muds from an MPA located off the west coast of Scotland. The key objective in the design and implementation of an effective network of marine protected areas is ensuring a healthy marine environment through sustainable use to ensure these important resources are available for future generations. To support this, JNCC advise UK governments and industry on the potential impacts and possible management of human activities within offshore marine protected areas. This includes commercial fishing activity, developments associated with oil and gas industry including the removal of infrastructure during decommissioning, aggregate extraction, subsea cable laying. Our advice is based on our understanding of the sensitivity of habitats and species to which the pressures associated with human activities such as sediment removal or scouring of the seabed. Habitats and species may be more or less sensitive to these pressures depending on their tolerance to that pressure based on traits such as whether they are able to move away, live on the surface or within the sediment, and how quickly they can recover from any potential impact. In providing site level advice, we consider both the occurrence and scale of potentially impacting activities occurring within each site and the extent and distribution of protected habitats and species in relation to these activities. Such advice to UK governments allows them to make informed decisions on the sustainable management of our seas. JNCC work closely with the UK governments to inform their decision making and provide advice in relation to activities in offshore MPAs. We also support the development of fisheries management measures within offshore MPAs and engage with a wide range of stakeholders, from international fishing authorities to individual skippers within the UK, to ensure their views and knowledge are taken into account.